So this is the uh, rock conveyor in operation. It's powered by a 12 volt motor, variable speed. Right now I've got it kind of running fast, but when you're in the, using it as a high banker, you can slow it down to whatever speed you need. The chain is uh, a link chain out of a packaging process. Actually, I believe it's out of a very small freezer. And the whole operation is on gas shocks. So it's easy to lift up and see what's going on inside. This slot is easy to see in this position. That's the drain slot and that is also adjustable. So um, just by sliding a plate over it, you can restrict the water flow or control the water flow so that the uh, sluice is running at the right speed uh, to get just the action that you're looking for. Of course when it's used in a high banker configuration everything's the same as it always has. The rocks just, the material just gets shoveled in on top of the chain with the spray bars in operation when it's used as a dredge, the dredge line comes in the back, dumps on the chain, the water goes into the tank. The water level's about at that dotted line row, right at the top of the hole, you can't quite see the dotted line. And uh, that's the water level in the tank. At that point, it spills over the front, and you control how much water goes out the bottom, like I said, by the variable speed, uh, the variable adjustable water gate in the bottom. The uh, dump height is, will also be adjustable which raises the water level or lowers the water level in the tank. <clears throat> uh, let's see, I guess we can run some rocks to it just so you can see that part. The, amp, the motor runs about uh, 1.8 amps under load. So we can pretend that That's how that part works.